How to crochet the side saddle cluster stitch. For this stitch, you will need a crochet hook. Special thanks to our sponsor, Scassell, for providing today's hooks. Today, we are using their Addy Swing Ergonomic Crochet Hooks in the size US 8H. And a ball of yarn. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, double crochet, double crochet four together. To begin this stitch, you must create a foundation chain in multiples of five plus two. Row one, we're going to begin by doing a single crochet into the second chain from our hook. Then we're going to start our repeat by chaining three. Then we're going to do a single or double crochet four together over the next four stitches. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the next chain, draw through, yarn over and draw through two. Then we'll yarn over, insert our hook into the next chain, draw through, yarn over and draw through two. Okay, now we're gonna have three loops on our hook. We'll yarn over, insert our chain hook into the next chain, draw through, yarn over and draw through two. Okay, that'll give us four loops. Then we'll do that one more time. Yarn over, insert our hook, draw through, yarn over and draw through two. So now we have five loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and draw through all five loops on our hook. Then we're gonna chain one and we're going to do a single crochet into the next chain stitch to finish our repeat. So we're going to continue repeating the sequence until the end of the row. Row 2. After we turned our work, we're going to chain 5. Then we are going to do a single crochet into the next cluster stitch. which is that double crochet four together that we did. We're gonna go right into the top of that stitch. Then we are going to start our repeat by chaining three. And we are going to do a double crochet four together into the next three chain arch, which is this hole right here. So we'll yarn over, insert our hook into the hole, and we're going to draw through, yarn over and draw through two, and we'll do that a total of four times until we have five loops on our hook. Okay, so there we've got five. Yarn over and draw through all five loops. Then we'll chain one, and we're going to do a single crochet into the next cluster stitch, which is this right here. So we're going to repeat this sequence until we reach the last uh, repeat in our row. So when we reach the last repeat in our row, we are going to do a single crochet into the next cluster that will finish our last repeat. Then we'll chain three and double crochet four together into the next three chain arch, just like normal. So I've split the yarn right there. I'm going to redo that stitch. All right, one more. And we'll Cinch them all up together. We'll chain one and then we're going to do a double crochet into the single crochet from the row before. So we'll yarn over, insert our hook, and work our double crochet like normal. Okay, and then we'll turn our work. Row three, we're going to begin by chaining one, then we're going to skip this first stitch and we're going to single crochet into the next cluster stitch. Okay, then we're going to start our repeat 
by chaining three. One, two, three. Then we'll do our double crochet four together into the next three chain arch. All right, so there's five loops. Draw through all five. We'll chain one, and we will single crochet into the next cluster stitch to finish our repeat. So we're going to repeat this sequence until we reach the end of our row. And when we finish our last repeat, instead of doing the single crochet into the next cluster stitch, we are going to single crochet into the next five chain arch, which is our turn chain from the row before. Okay, then we're going to turn our work, and we're going to repeat rows two and three until we reach our desired length. And that's how you crochet the side saddle cluster stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more new stitch today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.